Not everyone is aware that home education is a legal alternative to school in many countries around the world. The 1996 Education Act for England and Wales states that the parent of every child of compulsory school age shall cause him to receive efficient full-time education suitable to his age, ability and aptitude and any special educational needs he may have, either by regular attendance at school or otherwise. Most parents delegate this responsibility to a school, but an increasing number of families are choosing to educate their children otherwise through home education. Contrary to popular belief, you don't have to be a qualified teacher to home educate. Learning to walk and talk was a, a natural process for your child, achieved without the need for any lesson plans. With home education, the parent simply continues in this role of facilitator to the child. There are many different reasons for a child to be educated at home. Some parents deregister their child from school because of issues such as bullying, special educational needs not being met, over-testing or a, a general dissatisfaction with the state system. Other families, however, made the decision to home educate at the beginning and have never sent their child to school. Um, when we first started home educating, um, as an educator myself, we had timetables and um, I wanted to follow a curriculum, which I thought was the correct way of going about it. But in actual fact, I realised that it wasn't what my daughters needed. Um, the freedom of not having a curriculum um, is, is immense and it makes them happier when they can choose what they want to learn and they go with it. And they might go with a particular subject for two or three weeks, whereas in a school they're limited by you know, an hour here and an hour there and they can't grow with it. I think home education opens a lot of doors for children. Home education to me now is, is giving me a lot of time for what I want to do when I'm older and when I was at school I didn't have a lot of time for what I wanted to do when I'm older and I love art and when I am at home I can do art whenever I want and I can, you know, I can freely do what I want. At school there's always rules and regulations and I didn't have a lot of time to do what I really wanted and, and I, I, I absolutely love art and it just differs from school and I'm at home where I can go and free myself and learn whatever I want and learn how much I want with school, it's lines and you've got to do this at this time. So home education's just, I don't know, amazing. <laughs> just as there are many different reasons behind choosing home education, there are a variety of ways in which families approach home education. For every child, the experience is unique, just as every child is unique. Well, ever since day one, because of my hair, I've been really badly bullied. And what happened is, I sort of started to put up with it, but after a while it sort of edges away at the sort of toughness you've built up, and then suddenly you just can't take it anymore. So I kept telling the, I was telling the school, I'm being bullied, what are you going to do about it? They gave him a detention, next day back where we started again. So I rang my mum up after I left school that day and said, Mum, I really can't hack this anymore, it's just, it's not working, nobody's going to do anything about it. And if I try and do something about it, they're going to have a go at me. So me and my mum both decided together, why don't we try home education? Within this broad spectrum of personalised learning, there are, however, common themes and approaches. One of these approaches is autonomous or informal learning. You and your child decide what, when, where and how to study and use individual interests and natural curiosity as a starting point. I suppose my life differs from those of the school children when my, because I was educated autonomously, meaning that one day it was never the same as the next. And I tended, I spent um, a large amount of time um, working at a local riding school um, at um, home educated meetings, which I feel provided a far more diverse social um, background than if I was just with my age group in school. Well, it's not really been structured like a school. I try and impose some kind of structure like going and doing math once a week and stuff because I have a friend who teaches me math, but in principle it's been kind of self-guided. Other learning styles may be more structured in their approach. This may include using a timetable or lesson plans, and families may use a curriculum based on traditional school subjects.
or one tailored to their particular aims. Even within a structured approach, home education provides a freedom and a depth that is not reflected in the state system. Some children at home uh, learn through structured methods with a curriculum and so on. Even then it's very different from school because it's one-to-one. Um, there's very little in the way of failure because uh, children, uh, if they've got a problem, then they deal with it there and then. So there's no, there's no marking and testing and moving on. There's no waste of time. Uh, it's very intensive, which means that it can be usually confined to about an hour or two in the morning. That's if it's structured and the rest of the day is free for other activities. Whatever uh, approach you choose, you can swap from one to the other. Home education allows your ideas to change and grow with the child. This is personalised learning. Remember, in law the responsibility for your child's education is yours, not the schools and not the local authorities. One of the most common misconceptions about home educated children is that they miss out on opportunities to socialise and are in some way impoverished by not being exposed to the peculiar social environment that school provides. In fact, home education offers children far greater opportunities to socialise with a broader range of ages, cultures and communities. A lot of people always ask me, because you're home educated and you spend a lot of time doing all that kind of stuff, do you get social time? And everybody's got this very shallow-minded opinion that because you're home educated, there's something wrong with you or you can't cope with school or something like that. But it's wrong. I get loads of social time. There is no legal requirement to take exams. Your child may choose to take GCSEs, studying at home and taking the exam as a private candidate. They might wait to go to college and take exams there. Some children take less traditional qualifications that are more specific to a particular career or area of interest. Even for home educated children who've chosen not to sit exams, getting into college or university is not a problem. I'm doing my GCSEs at the moment and when I've finished, in fact I have finished my exams, when I get my results I will be going to Farnborough College where I'm aiming to do five A-levels and lots of other enrichment. I really haven't thought out a plan for what I'm going to do next, but I intend to pursue what I enjoy as I'm doing with my education at the moment. Um, I'm now 17 and I attended college for a year. I did four GCSEs and two A-levels with no previous GCS history. And I'm going on to continue those A-levels and to take up biology, physics and chemistry. And I hope after this to um, apply to Bristol to do vet med. Employers today are looking for adaptability, positivity and an ability to fit in. These are the skills that home educated children have in abundance. Home educated children are also well qualified to become self-employed because they are innovative, self-motivated and reliant. I think home educators still have job opportunities because we're much more likely to actually go and look for a job. I myself recently got a job, despite the fact I have no English qualifications at all. I got a job researching and um, editing a book. I just spoke to a lecturer, offered to review his book for free, and then later uh, I asked if he, I could be taken on to do research and help improve the section. And I think a lot of home editors tend to get work in ways like that that aren't the sort of norm, but they work out very well and it fits what an individual's interests are. And it's amazing how many opportunities there are if you actually just go out to get them. To find out more about home education, look on the Education Otherwise website. We can help put you in touch with others in your area who are already home educating and who can help you to get started.